right guys let's quickly revise accounting standard 11 the effects of changes in foreign exchange rate with the help of charts first what is the scope of this standard it covers all the transaction which is done in a currency other than indian rupees yes no so basically if you have done any transaction in foreign currency this standard will be applicable for that few things we need to know first is monetary item monetary item means those items whose value is fixed meaning they express they can be expressed in fixed denomination of currency non monetary item means value fluctuates meaning they have not defined non monetary items they say non monetary item means items other than monetary items like that then what is foreign operations foreign operation means it could be any branch associate a subsidiary a joint venture but they are conducting an operation in a country other than india operation if it is being done in a country other than india it becomes a foreign operation foreign operations are categorized into two things integral foreign operation ifo and non integral foreign operation nifo integral foreign operation means foreign operation activities are integral part of indian entity meaning it is like an extension of indian entity fair enough indian entity and foreign entities are closely connected non integral foreign operation they have not defined they say non integral foreign operations are those which are other than integral foreign operations these are definitions yes next recognition if you have any foreign currency transaction all foreign currency transaction are initially recorded at what transaction date ka exchange rate or sometimes we also call it as transaction date spot rate all right settlement will happen at what realization or payment all the settlements will happen at settlement date ka exchange rate in between initial recognition and settlement if there is any foreign currency balance and if you have to show that balance in balance sheet then what you have to do you need to check whether that foreign currency item is a monetary item or whether it is a non monetary item if it is monetary item then you will use what rate closing rate yes no if it is uh, if it is a monetary item then you will use closing rate non monetary item means that depends check how the non monetary item is valued it could be valued at cost or it could be valued at other value other value could be fair value or net realizable value whatever if it is valued at cost use the transaction you have already converted a transaction rate exchange rate use the same no need to restate it however if you are valuing non monetary item at nrv or fair value then the day you find out nrv or fair value use the exchange rate existing on that particular date this is your foreign currency ka funda yes no next exchange gain or loss on ifo transaction on integral foreign operations if you have any foreign currency forex gain or loss that will be going off straight away to p and l i gave you father and son one example in that case gain or loss will straight away go to p and l in case of father and son two example which is non integral foreign operation will you transfer it to p and l or accumulate it in a reserve will accumulate a, accumulate in a reserve known as fctr foreign currency translation reserve will you will, will you keep that amount throughout no till you have that investment the exchange gain loss will stay in fctr once the investment is sold from fctr it will go off to p and l all right then if you have any long term foreign currency loan on that exchange reference what you can do first you need to check for what it is used for if it is used to purchase depreciable capital asset then exchange if it is exchange loss it will be added to the cost of the asset if it is exchange gain it will be deducted from the cost of asset if it is not used if it is used for other purposes then exchange loss can be accumulated in one reserve the name of the reserve is foreign currency monetary item translation difference or fcmi td okay and from fcmi td it will go to pnl over the loan duration yes no okay next but it's not a nifo it's it's a normal foreign currency transaction a normal foreign currency transaction exchange gain loss will go where it will go off to pnl that is your exchange gain loss ka funda is a next conversion of foreign branch if you have foreign branch when you are preparing financial statement you should not only consider indian entity but you should also consider foreign branch ka data and add it up but indian entity ka data is in rupees foreign branch ka data is in foreign currency you need to convert for that we require exchange rate first you need to check whether that foreign branch is in ifo meaning integral foreign operation or non integral foreign operation if it is integral foreign operation then monetary item will be converted using closing rate nmi using 3c2 3c2 we have already written here this is your 3 this is your 3 this is your c this is your 2 so whatever foreign currency you have done for nmi no apply the same thing okay meaning if it is done at if it is shown at cost means use transaction rate ka exchange rate if it is valued at net realizable value means or fair value means use the exchange rate on the date of fair value or 
net realizable value. That's what I've written here. Income and ex income and expenses will be converted using average rate. Exchange gain or loss will be transferred off to P and L account. This is in case of integral foreign operation. Hmm? We'll be studying a lot more about this when we do branch accounting. Hmm? Non-integral foreign operations, if you have, whether monetary or non-monetary, everything will be transferred using closing rate. For income and expenses, suggested rate is transaction date car rate. The exchange gain loss will not go to PNL, but it will be accumulated in FCTR. Till when it will stay in FCTR? Till you have the investment. Once you sell off this non-integral foreign operation, then from FCTR it will move to PNL. Alright, this is your funda about AS11. Thank you.